Good morning. Uh, it's Kathy here coming to you from my Brighton Dingley Dell, which is very quiet, a bit foggy, a little bit spooky this morning. And I feel like I can't talk too loud. Um, but how are you doing? Hope you're well. Um, I wanted to talk a bit this morning about this concept of Heaven Island and Hell Island. Now, it's not mine. Um, I, oh, I can't remember where I first heard it, but it's, it sort of uh, pops around a bit on the internet as a sort of a really good analogy for marketing. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to break it down a bit because it's sort of, um, yeah, it can just be quite helpful when you're thinking about who you help how you help them and um, how you could structure your offer around that and then translating that into your sales copy. So Hell Island um, is the place where your audience, your clients, your potential clients currently are. So obviously there's going to be lots of versions of this Hell Island, um, but they're in a place that they're not enjoying, it's causing them pain and they just don't really want to be there anymore. Heaven Island, on the other hand, is that place, that paradise, where the problem that they're currently experiencing is gone. So if they go there, their life's going to be better in some tangible way, through more money, better relationships, uh, better health, you know, something, um, you know, something big, something, some big human desire. Um, so they're currently on Hell Island, they want to get to Heaven Island, and your offer or your service, what you do is a bridge to get them from one place to the other, um, or a boat. You can, you know, pop them in a nice little boat and sail them across. So, um, now that all sounds quite neat, doesn't it? And easy and sort of summed up. It's like, right, so here, let me think about what's causing your island at the moment to feel hellish and how I can paint a picture of heaven island for you. Um, and there's, but the problem is it's not as simple as you just hopping onto Hell Island with your boat and saying, come on, I'm going to take you over to where you want to go. Because there's, um, there's lots of, you think of them, there's lots of sharks in the water that you need to dodge. And those sharks really are their objections. So one objection might be that you say to them, look, if you do, if you come with me, I'm going to take you to this amazing place where you're going to feel better. And they might be thinking, well, I saw someone else yesterday saying something similar about their a different hell, uh, heaven island. Um, and in fact, there was like 10 guys last week that said something different. So how do I know that your one is the one I want to go to? That's an objection. And so if you're thinking that your clients are wondering whether the place you want to take them to is the right one, then you need to make sure that you're addressing that objection in your copy. Um, you know, another problem another shark in the water might be that they don't believe you you might come to them and say look you're in this place and you're miserable because of x y and z and come with me and I'm going to take this place where it's exactly what you want and what you need and they might be thinking to themselves nah sounds too good to be true I don't believe you that's an objection so that's an objection you need to um address in your sales copy so that objection they might not believe that the cost of the ticket is um, actually going to take them to the place that you're promising. It doesn't match up. So this is going to be a price objection. Is it too expensive? Is it too cheap? Um, it might be that you're painting a picture that doesn't seem realistic, that you're putting too much stuff on this heaven island and they look around where they're at and the contrast to where you want to take them to, it just seems too big a leap. Like going from, I don't know, you're going to take them from a little island um, in Southeast Asia, and you're gonna, you're promising that you're gonna get them to, I don't know, Mauritius or something off the coast of Africa, and all you've got is a little, a little raft. Um, so you know it doesn't match up. They're like, I'm not gonna pay you to get on that raft to take me over there. I don't believe that that's <laughs> all gonna, all gonna work. So you, you know, if if your offer is doing this, if you're going to people on a hell island, painting them a picture of something that's, um, you know, not realistic and charging them a price that doesn't sort of match up to what um, they think, then it's, it's not going to make sense in their head. So if on the other hand, you're taking them 
stay with the analogy <coughs> from a little island, you know, some a Thai island, Thailand or something, to Mauritius off the coast of Africa, and you say to them, "I'm going to get you there. It's going to cost you a lot more money because we're going on this like really amazing big boat, and I'm going to take a few other people with us to split the cost, um, and it's going to be a long journey." But along the way, we're going to do this, that and the other. And, you know, it's going to be great. And so by the time you get there, you're going to be ready. So, you know, that's kind of painting the picture of something like, a, you know, a, a long term offer, a sort of mastermind program, perhaps. You know, you can make a big promise because it's uh, something that you're going to deliver over a long period of time and it's going to require an investment. Anyway, sorry, I'm just going off on, on it because the hopefully you can see if you start picturing it in this way and trying to match up those pieces what's what's making hell island hellish for them get really specific because there's as many hell islands are there, as there are people out there really and so you you want to make sure that you're talking to the you know group of people and it's going to be a niche it's going to be a small group it's not going to be everyone you know if you're trying to talk to everyone on an island that's big enough to um hold everyone then it's going to be really hard to kind of get to them all and speak you know make your voice heard whereas if you create if you go to a place where there's fewer people but they're all suffering from the same problem maybe that problem is there's uh you know there's not enough um there's no running water or something and you're like look i've got i've got this solution um and i'll take you to this place where we do have running water you know, that's a really specific problem that's, and it doesn't have to be a big hop, you know, and your products, you know, this might be, you know, not literally about water, but um, I don't know, it might be that someone's trying to, uh, I don't know, like lose weight, it's an easy, an easy sort of analogy, you know. So if you go to an island where everyone's all right, but they just want to lose that last 10 pounds, and you say to them, look, I've got this thing, it's not going to take long, it's really efficient, I'll get you there and you're going to go to this place where those 10 pounds are gone. That, you've lost those last 10 pounds. Um, you know, that's really specific. You're talking to all of the people on that little island. And if you structure it all correctly, if you handle their objections, objections are going to be really, is it going to work? How much, you know, uh, what do I need to do? Am I going to go hungry? Am I going to have to do shitloads of exercise? You know, whatever those objections would be, which you're going to learn because you do market research. Um, and you put it all together and you take them on that journey and that is your offer <laughs> oh, so there you go i don't know if you're still following me um but i think it's a really useful analogy um to kind of start thinking about how you're approaching things um and uh yeah so i'm gonna leave it there uh, this is the kind of stuff that I work through with my clients and with my coaching clients as well um, to make sure that we're getting an offer that is specific enough, that is realistic, that is uh, correctly priced and um, that it gets the results um, and puts it all together into a, into a written package that is persuasive. And by persuasive, we mean talking to the right people getting them on the right sort of vehicle to get them across the body of water to get them to Heaven Island where things feel better for them. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Barry's looking like he's about to uh, come and jump on me. So I shall wish you a good day and see, uh, speak soon. See you next week. Bye.